What's up YouTube? Fish lore everybody. How's it going? Uh, doing a little tank maintenance on the 33. Here's Ram. Uh, I don't think I've shown it to you actually since I, what I'm doing since I changed it, but uh, male beta, uh, female beta with neons, and my other male beta. So that's what it looks like. And uh, there's no scape going on in here. It's just a bunch of plants thrown in right now. So uh, I'm doing a little cleaning. There's my bucket for my water change. Took some water out. I'm just going to show you guys how to clean a filter real quick. How I clean my filter. Uh, unplug it. Uh, it's this one. Yep. Set that down real quick. Aqua clear filter. All right. First thing I'm gonna do, obviously, take this top off. Don't need that. Take the biomedia out. Alright, so I take the biomedia out. Always never wash this stuff, just rinse it off in here. Swish it around a little bit, and that's probably good right there. You don't have to get, get any big debris off of it, that's good. You can leave this sit out if you want, don't leave it sit out too long though. I'll take this basket out of here. I use two sponges and biomedia, I don't use any active carbon or anything. So. I'll just drop those sponges in there. I got a bunch of duckweed in there. <laughs> Duckweed's a pain. So then come in here on the aqua clears, you take this motor off. You know what? I'm gonna try to prop this up real quick. Being a pain. Got a little mini tripod here. It's not very good, but it works. Alright, yeah, I'll take this motor off. I'm do this over here in case there's any water in it. There's where the impeller is, so you got to clean that out real good. Um, use a brush or something. Just dump that out in there. I don't really want to sit it in there. That water's nasty, so this impeller will come out. Get some something to pull it out with. I don't have any fingernails, <laughs> long enough fingernails to pull it out with. But yeah, that impeller will come right out. There we go. Magnet's real nasty, so you gotta clean all that and try to clean in there real good. And it goes right back in. Set that over here. And then, as far as the box goes, my box right now obviously isn't too bad. It's not real dirty or anything. A lot of times you'll see a lot of nasty stuff here, like algae and stuff. Um, if you want to be extra careful, you can just clean this in the bucket. Maybe if you have like a new tank, I'd say newer than six months, you might not want to. You might want to just leave this alone since you have, you know, you're, you're, there's bacteria sitting all in here. So if you have a new tank, I'd leave that alone and just kind of wipe it off with my hands or maybe a brush and try to just get this part and leave all that in there alone. Just rinse it out. Take it in and dunk it and pour it out a couple times and get it as clean as you can. But what I do since this tank's been running for a while and it's kind of lightly stocked really, I just take it over to the sink and I'll rinse it out with hot water and scrub it out real good. Same thing with, with this basket, I'll probably rinse that off, but if you have a new tank, I just try to rinse it out in the bucket. Set it over there. These sponges. Obviously you just squeeze. This water's gonna get real nasty. Until you see it halfway clear. One. Yeah, that was a good sponge. This is the bad sponge. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that's just turning black. I love these filters, they do a great job. It must be nicer to have some cleaner water to clean it in, but... Oh well, this will do a good enough job. Sponge. Ugh. So that's how you clean the filter. Um, let's see, let's go over here.
here actually. And again, I would just, you know, like I said, rinse it out in the bucket. If you haven't, you might want to go ahead and do this either way. And you, you can do this in the bucket if you have a new tank. And then I just push it around in the bucket and run this through it. Get one of these brushes. Um, I have another brush that you can kind of get in here and get in here a little better, but, you know, you, you can only do so much sometimes. There's that. There's the impeller and everything. I'm not going to fight with it this time, so... That off. Got the brush, here it is. Take this little brush and slightly scrub around it on it. That's looking better. Make sure you get this in power. Important to keep those clean. And I've never had a mini cycle cleaning everything out like this. And I know some people will never do this. You no, know, with a crap tank or the chlorinated water, but I've never had a problem. I think you get a lot cleaner. So. and clean it out to where it's brand new. Come back over here. Obviously, I haven't left this media sitting too long. There's a basket. Sponge. Sponge. Someone's yelling for the dog outside, if you heard that. I'll just 
put this in like this first. Sorry, I can't show you this. I need a, I need a, I need some cameraman. That's fine. Here we go. how it goes back on the tank I hope if not you wouldn't be cleaning it in the first place so uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you you know see down here I have that divider that you can see through uh, just a little you know whatever little holes through it or whatnot well the betas just keep flaring man and one of them's losing his fins I think he, they were getting coming back and losing them so I'm just not gonna do that anymore I just got a piece of like plastic uh, like a div uh, like a binder not a, not, not a binder, something like that, like a folder, a little plastic folder. And then back there on the top, you can see I cut a little area with mesh out and put the sponge filter over there so water will exchange a little bit. But I have sponge filters in each one of these sides anyway, so I don't even really need water exchange, but I'll do that over here too. That's what I'm doing with this right here. 